Archie, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed. A year ago, when Luigi Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write her and tell her about his adventures. So now, we look over Luigi's shoulder as he writes another letter to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, since I write to you last week, your son Luigi is a fallen in love with a nice American girl. I bet you're surprised how Italian a boy like me gets American girls. What is no surprise? Because the biggest American hero is Italian. In Italy is Garibaldi. In America is Gary Cooper. <laughs> Since I'm fall in love with American girl, Mamma Mia, I'm going to try to find out more about them. Last week, I'm talking with a cashier girl in a movie house. And when she's telling me how she's to go out for a good time, it's just like we build a house in Italy. First, she's to put on a foundation. <laughs> then she's to spread on the paint. <laughs> After that, she raises the roof, and then she gets a plaster. <laughs> Another thing I don't understand. All American girls, they look nice and skinny. Even if they're fat, they look skinny. Is it because a great American invention called girdle? <laughs> All the girls wear this because it takes them in when they go out. <laughs> but American inventors, they're never satisfied. So somebody is an inventor what they call two way stretch. <laughs> That's not only to take a girl in when she's a go out, but also to take a girl out when she's a go in. <laughs> Anyway, Mamma Mia, since I'm going to go out to an American girl now, I try to find out more about them. I ask people, but is nobody discusses the subject. So I find out for myself. I buy a beautiful magazine with a beautiful picture of a girl on the cover. It's a very exclusive, a high-class magazine. It's called True Passion Story. <laughs> this, this is only for ladies, but I give a news dealer extra ten cents and he lets me have a copy. <laughs> I'm reading a true passion story this morning in my antique store. When in walks a Pasquale, my countryman, who's bringing me to America. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pasquale. What are you reading there, my little man? Are you studying for your examination at night school tonight? It's not important, Pasquale. Hey, why are you trying to hide the book? Come on, give me. Pasquale, don't touch. Let me read. Oh, it's a book about Italians. True Paisan story. <laughs> it's not the Paisan. It's a passion. Passion? Sure, Pasquale. I explain to you what is a passion. Don't bother explain. A passion is like a love, only you breathe it through the nose. <laughs> so that's the way Luigi Vasco spends his time, eh? Reading the junk. It's not the junk. It's a very interesting. Tells me all about American girls. Listen. I was married to a glass blower. <laughs> Joyce Marlin, girl the pin boy. I was held captive by a chiropractor, or I knew it was a love I could have feel it in my bones. <laughs> That's the sound of very education. That's right, the Pasquale. Teaches you all about the love. Ah, uh, Luigi, you a greenhorn to read a magazine like this. This stuff is a baloney. Pasquale, to you is a baloney. To me, is a slice of life. <laughs> Luigi, what's happening to you? Ever since you go out with American girl, there's a nobody can talk to you. Instead of studying for your examinations tonight in a school, you're reading this a trash. I was in a lover with a glass of pin boy. <laughs> Joyce Marlin, a girl of chiropodist. <laughs> Luigi, throw away this a junk. Read your lessons, otherwise you don't pass your examination tonight. Pasquale, I don't know what to come over with me. I don't can eat. I don't can sleep, and, and I don't care about the night school and examination. The trouble with you is very simple. You in love. Pasquale, I don't go to school tonight. 
I got a date with my new American girl, Peggy Marshak. You gonna have a date tonight in the midst of the examination? Luigi, you stupid fool. You love a crazy greenhorn a boob. Oh, Pasquale. <laughs> you're different a type of man. You don't know about the love. I don't know about the love, huh? I'm a married of 26 years. But I got a good memory. <laughs> No, Pasquale. I explain. When you feel love like I'm a feel, it's a something you don't let it go. It is something that winds around you. Just the one you think you got it, it slips through your fingers. It's a hard to get. But when you got it, it's the most delicious thing in the world. That's a love. Luigi, I have to play the spaghetti. <laughs> Well, so you forget all about my daughter Rosa, huh? Pasquale, I'm never going to marry your daughter Rosa. Now, excuse me, Pasquale. I'm late for my date with a paper. All right, so my little friend. Forget her, Rosa. Forget her why I'm bringing you to America. Forget her, you night of school, your education. Let her, your business go to pieces. And your best friend, Pasquale, throw him in the garbage. Go, go out with your girl. But, Pasquale... I'm seeing the whole thing, Luigi. Is it just like the story of Carmen when she's a driver down? Don Jose crazy. And then in the end, she's leaving him for a bullfighter. And what does a poor Don Jose say? <laughs> oh, shut up, you fool. It's a wrong aria. It's a go like this. No, 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 I'm a sorry, Pasquale. Luigi, we countrymen are friends. Think over before you leave. Drop this girl a Peggy. No, is it too late to Pasquale? I'm uh, too much in love. All right, to go. But the like in a calm, and when a Peggy throws you out, like a Don Jose, you come back. But there's uh, no more roses, and no more school, and no business, and no friends. And when you come crawling back to me, on your knees, what do you think I'll say? Hello, shorty. <laughs> Date with a Rosa, date with an American girl. I picture him. Hello? Hello, public school number 12. I'd like to speak with Mrs. Spaulding, please. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Spaulding, this is the Pasquale's spaghetti palace speaking. Hello, Mr. Pasquale. I'm a no squealer, but uh, one of your pupils is a play hooky from your school tonight. Who? Well, uh, like I'm a said, I'm a no squealer, but uh, he's a short fella with a bushy hair, speaks it with an accent, and his initials is the LB. <laughs> Luigi Basco? How you guess? <laughs> That's terrible. He couldn't have picked a worse night. Not only will he miss the examinations, but we were planning a surprise party for him. A surprise party? Yes, Luigi's been in America exactly one year today. What are we going to do now? Oh, I fix up. He's to go out of tonight with a Miss Peggy Marshak, circular 8276. And if you tell her no go out with him, I'm sure he's to show up at the party. Good. I'll call her and explain the situation to her. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Pasquale, yes, please you... do me a favor. About the surprise party, don't say a word to Mr. Luigi. I'm to say a word? Mrs. Spaulding, what do you think I am? A squealer? <laughs> Hello, Peggy. Hello, Luigi. I brought a little present. Oh, how lovely. Wax bananas. Yes. <laughs> I, I think they go nicer with artificial cherries I bring you last Tuesday. <laughs> Come on, let's go to a movie, huh, Peggy? I'm not going with you. You're not going to the movies with me? Why? Oh, I know, Peggy. Tonight, I pay for you. <laughs> You don't pay for yourself. Uh, Luigi, it's not that. Shouldn't you be in school tonight? 
Peggy, school is not the means so much to me now. Since I met you, I'm going to learn a new language from the heart. And instead of alphabet to ABC, is a love. L-U-V. <laughs> Peggy, if you don't like the movies, then I take you somewhere else. Come on, I take you to the Y. We play handball. No. Maybe you like we stand outside a radio store and look at television. Luigi, it's no use trying to entice me. I'm not going with you. Peggy, you, you, you can't mean that. I do mean that. Go to school. You say that because you got another date. I resent that, Mr. Basco. Go now. And believe me, I'm doing this for your good. I can't say any more, Luigi. Someday you'll know why I did this. But, but Peggy... Please, Luigi. Please go. Mamma mia, I'm a thrown out by my girl. Just like Pasquale says, I'm all alone. No friends and no business. No can I go back to school. That's the story of Carmen, all right. Now I know how poor Dan Jose he feels. Get up, you fellow. Get up for yourself. <laughs> Now, for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. So, Mamma Mia, Luigi, your son, he make a big fool of himself over a girl. In America, it's a saying, when you get a true with a girl, you washed up. Mamma Mia, I'm not only washed up. I'm a steam, the starch, the press, the packed up, and a sent to the cleaners. <laughs> My girl, Peggy Marshak, is a left to me for somebody else. Is it like Uncle Pietro say? For every man is a woman. Mamma mia, in Chicago tonight, there's some men has got a two woman. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is, is I cannot face my friends. I'm going to leave Chicago. Don't try to stop me, Mamma mia. I'm going to go. I'm just the waiter right now for Jimmy. My 12-year-old general manager to come home from his tuba lesson. Then I say goodbye. Hello, Mr. Luigi. Hello, Jimmy. Goodbye. Goodbye? But, boss, what do you mean? Hey, what are you all packed up for? Jimmy, I'm running away from home. Life is not fair to me. While I'm a bend down to tie my shoelace, love is a kicking me right in the head. <laughs> Jimmy, I feel so bad. I think I'm going to take a slow boat to Italy. <laughs> Boss, how are you going to get along in Italy? That's all right, Jimmy. I can learn Italian again. And even if I'm a failure in American, in Italy I make a good living. I got a too strong a feet. I can always crush grapes. <laughs> oh, Boss, you're not really going to go, are you? Jimmy, it's no use trying to stop me. I'm off on a boat to Italy with the money in my pocket. How much money do you have, Boss? Seven and a half dollars. Seven fifty. With that money, you're lucky if you could go steerage. Jimmy, if a captain takes me on a boat, I'm willing to drive. <laughs> Goodbye, Jimmy. Oh, don't, boss. Jimmy, don't make a scene. We're two big men. Goodbye. Kiss yourself for me. <laughs> just like this, you're leaving me? Not to just like this. Everything I got, I'm leaving to you. But, boss, how am I going to pay all the bills? I leave the antiques and the statues to you. Well, go buy antiques and go buy statues. Go by Washington, go by Lincoln, go by Jefferson, go by Coolidge. Hoover? Jimmy, take good care of the vacuum, McLean. <laughs> All right, boss. Say, boss, have you said goodbye to Miss Spaulding? Don't mention my school teacher's name. Play hooky is a black and a blue mark against my name. Go by Alexander Hamilton. Go by Harris Greeley. You with the famous words. Go west, the young man. Goodbye. Go west? Hey, that's a good idea. I'm going to go west. West? That's for Luigi. I'm going to west. 
Jimmy? Yes, boss? Which way is the west? <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to find out. It's like a story in my passion magazine. I go west and become a millionaire. Boss, how will you make a living? There's a plenty of ways. Maybe I go to Milwaukee and I raise a beer. <laughs> if that's no good, I go to New Mexico and I grow cucarachas. <laughs> Just imagine me and a Peggy Mary. Ah, we're going to live in a big enchilada. And we have a five or six of little tortillas. Go back to me. Boss! Boss! He's gone. What am I going to do? i got to stop him. I'll go Mr. Pasquale. Mr. Pasquale! Hey, Mr. Pasquale! What's the matter, Jimmy? Why are you so excited? It's Luigi. He's gone. Gone? Yeah, he went west. Well, where's the body? He's not dead. He's leaving town. He's going away forever. How much money did he have? Seven and a half dollars. Forever means he's going to be right back. <laughs> what do you mean? If I'm no Luigi, he's going to get thrown out of the railroad station, he'll miss you, and he'll come right back. You really think so? I know so. That's when he'll want a friend. And that's when my Rosa will be waiting for him. Rosa, I want you should have smell good for Luigi. Put on some of my aftershave lotion. <laughs> Ah, there it is. Across the street. Union Station. Hey, what's this sign to say? Travel at our expense. Join up and see the world. Uncle Sam wants you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trip for nothing. It's a funny kind of travel agency. I'm going inside and see. Hiya, buddy. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> Please, mister, i like to take a trip out the west. You've come to the right place. <laughs> Ever served before? Oh, that's the catch, huh? No, I never served before. But if it's necessary, I'm willing to become a waiter. How far west can I go? Saipan, Guam, Bikini. <laughs> when I'm a rich in California. California? Yes. I'm mean, here is always a nice and a sunny in California. <laughs> well, that can be arranged. California is probably where you spend your boot camp. Oh, one minute I'm away, the next minute I'm a fixer the shoes. <laughs> no, I'm a think I don't go. I'm a gotta make a lot of money because Peggy Marshak is a beautiful. Now take it easy, Mac. I know how you feel, but things have changed. Here, have some coffee and donuts. Oh. How much does it cost? Free, buddy. Oh. And you get them as long as you stay with us. Well, <laughs> this I like. Hmm. Please, mister, tell me. How am I going to travel? Any way you like. Oh. <laughs> Train, boat, airplane, oh. submarine, dog sled, rickshaw. <laughs> Sometimes you might even have to crawl on your stomach. <laughs> That's a funny way to get to California. <laughs> Tell me, is enough for money seven and a half a dollar? Put it away, pal. From now on, your money worries are over. In fact, while you're traveling, we pay you 50 bucks a month. Fifty dollars? That's private pay. Oh, you pay me in a private, nobody should have seen, huh? <laughs> If you're around ten years or so, you may even get a commission. Commission? How long is it till I become a partner? <laughs> Buddy, you're a partner right now in the most tremendous, most gigantic, and what's more, most successful organization in the entire world. What's the name of the company? <laughs> Great kidder. <laughs> well, let's give you a simple aptitude test to see which branch you're best suited for. Uh-huh. Take a look at that picture. What type of equipment is that? Well, it uh, looks uh, familiar. They're, uh... Tanks. You're welcome. <laughs> now, now, here's a piece of naval equipment. Uh-huh. Is that a U-boat? What the... Is that a U-boat? No, that's not a my boat. <laughs> well, 
Don't worry, Mac. We'll find a place for you. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you said that because I'm going to leave the town right away. Then you want to join immediately? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> now, uh, would you mind signing right here? All right. Hello, it's us. Now, when I start? You start right now. Oh. Ten, ten! Huh? All right, right. What? Ten up, ten what? down! What? I dropped that stone. What do you what mean by eating while you're on duty? Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, you think I'm in the army? What army? You're in the paratroopers. Huh? Now march! Yep. Pasquale, what are you doing in my store? I'm a waiting for little stupid Don Jose to come a crawl in the back of the hands. Hey, Luigi, where you get this a crew haircut? <laughs> it's a long story, Pasquale. You see, I'm a joint of the army. What? First the doctors is examining me. Then they give me malaria shots, the typhoid shot, the six hundred shots. Then they cut off all of my hair, giving me a uniform. Then they find out I'm not a citizen, so they throw me out. <laughs> What's that a little bandage on your arm? Before they let me go away, they take a pint of blood. <laughs> Ooh, what a big boob I'm looking at. What a stupid... Please, please, Pasquale. Don't talk like that to a veteran. <laughs> I'm a suffer too much for one a day. I know, Luigi. But you can always count on your friend Pasquale to help you. You still are my friend? Shame, Luigi. Why you ever doubt me? I'm a your friend. But you got a someone who's a waiter for you is even a bigger friend. The biggest a friend you got. Rosa! Rosa! <laughs> Come here, Rosa. Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. <laughs> hello, Rosa. Ain't it nice to have a friend to Luigi? Rosa, no, you must be nice and hungry to look at what she bring you. Coffee and donuts. No, no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to leave you two lover birds alone. You must have a lot to talk about. Goodbye, my son. Wait, wait, Pasquale. Where's the Jimmy? Oh, poor little bambino. When you leave, he's a sitting and a cry his eyes out. I think he's a break his heart. Where is he now? I give him a quarter and he's to go to the movies. <laughs> you don't think of anything. It's just a you and a Rosa and a love. <laughs> oh, shut up, you <laughs> Luigi Bosco, my friend and fellow boober. <laughs> Schultz, what do you do here? And do you suppose it to be in a night school? Oh, night school. Well, I thought maybe for tonight I drop it in on your antique shop. <laughs> it's funny, Luigi. Me and you, we are both playing hockey. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... What are the examination? Schultz, huh? please. So Rosa and Luigi want to be alone. So if you want to come in tonight, to drop in at some other time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Pasquale, don't chase the Schultz. It's my store. It's my daughter. If you don't mind, I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my fine Italian friend, Luigi. Oh, Riley. Anna Swenson. What do you want to do here? You want to miss a night class? Save your worry, Luigi. Sure, and it's cold outside. It's nice to be warming yourself around that pot-bellied stove. That's my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> Why you don't all go home already? You've been here two minutes. Pasquale, please. A little while ago, I was ready to live in this country. I thought I got no friends. But it looks like maybe it's a difference. If only my teacher, Mrs. Spaulding, is still like me. 
Mrs. Spalding. Hello, Mr. Luigi. Oh, what's to happen? There's a whole class in my store. Why not? <laughs> this is a classy store. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, Miss Spaulding, I'm very sorry to say this, but I'm, I'm a no study for your examination tonight. Just the same, Mr. Luigi. We're going to hold the examination anyway. No? Luigi Basco, what person whom we all know arrived from Italy recently? But, but I'm a no study, Miss Spaulding. Well, try it, Mr. Luigi. What person we all know arrived from Italy recently? Rita Hayward. <laughs> No, no, Mr. Luigi. I'll give you a clue. This person's initials are L.B. Uh, Lionel Barrymore? <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you answer the question. With pleasure. Luigi Bosco. <laughs> Luigi Bosco. <laughs> and why is this particular day important? Well, I... I, I don't know, Miss Spaulding. Well, I know. It's exactly a year that Luigi Bosco has been a resident of this country. That's right. It's exactly a year that the Luigi Basco has been a resident of this country. When are you today? Goodbye! Goodbye! I'm going to understand. What is examination? There wasn't any examination, Luigi. I just wanted to make sure that everyone, including you, would be present tonight. Oh, Miss Spaulding. My friends, I I'm a don't know what to say. I'm a so glad I don't to run away. From now on, Miss Spaulding... I'm going to go to school every night. I'm going to study all day. And I'm going to let nothing or anybody interfere because... Of... Luigi, I'm here too. Peggy. Uh, excuse me, Miss Spaulding. Uh, is there someone i got to talk to? Surprise. And look, I brought something for the whole party. What do you bring? Donuts and coffee for everybody. Have <laughs> <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, is it the day come out the good after all? Is it proof a man's a best of friends is his best of friends? <laughs> Can't write tomorrow, Mamma Mia, because I'm now busy writing an article for a magazine called The True Passion. <laughs> Name of the story is I Found the Love in a Chicago. Or is ill wind what the blows and those are good? <laughs> Yes, your loving son, Luigi, the little immigrant. Be sure to listen next week at this time over most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to Mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by High Craft, Mac Benoff, and Lou Derman and stars J. Carol Nash as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Lamont speaking. There's more laughter coming your way on CBS just a little later this evening when Eve Arden steps forth once more as the topsy-turvy schoolmistress, our Miss Brooks. And Lum and Abner gather around the Cracker Barrel in Pine Ridge, Arkansas. Our Miss Brooks, starring Eve Arden, is heard at 9.30, and Lum and Abner are heard at 10 o'clock, both Eastern Standard Time, over most of these same stations. Now stay tuned for The Electric Theater, starring Miss Helen Hayes in John Van Druten's Young Woodley, which follows immediately over most of these same stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs>